大家好，我是 Zan England Jack. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another morning English podcast. Today, I'm joined by Juan. Hello, everyone. 欢迎大家来到今天的早安英文 Okay, Jack. I know that recently you have been learning the Chinese idioms, right? Yes. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Cheng Cheng Yu, isn't it? Yeah. Cheng Yu.、Yeah. Yes. And there is one I got for you. Okay. Go on. It's called 一心一意一心一意 Do you know that? One something one. Yeah. <laughs> heart, one heart. One heart and one like e means thought. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. So it means that you treat others like. Girlfriend or somebody、yeah. like wholeheartedly. Oh, okay, I like that. Yi xin, yi xin, yi yi. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think that in English there are a lot of also a lot of idioms、uh, related to some numbers, right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's very true. There is, guys, hundreds related to numbers. I, I think. I mean, yeah. How about we talk about? Hmm, I think I'll talk about seven or eight today. I think eight, eight, eight's a lucky number. Okay. Okay. Right, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think they're really difficult because it's really hard to get. Because sometimes they mean like metaphor metaphorically. Yeah, I mean they can be a little bit tricky to understand sometimes.、Mm-hmm. But it's you know it's like e shin e e. Once you understand, yeah, you know what it's meant to convey.、Mm-hmm. It's pretty easy. Okay. So you need to understand to be a good teacher. Okay. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。All right. Let's start with zero. Let's go with zero. Okay, zero. Yeah.、Mm-hmm, so we've got zero hour. Zero hour. Yeah. So this is often when you're talking about the most important、mm-hmm. uh, time,、mm-hmm. most important event.、Mm-hmm. So maybe the army would say we're going to attack at zero hour. This、oh. this time is the most、mm-hmm. important. Oh, so this means the most important time, 最重要的时刻 right? Yeah. Okay. So I thought yeah, that the zero hour mean, means like、uh, midnight something. Yeah, I I think I thought that as well once before I was it was explained to me. So <laughs> you're not alone there. I thought it was as well. <laughs> okay.、Mm-hmm. All right. So moving on from number zero,、mm-hmm. number one.、Mm-hmm. So we can、number、say、one. go one better. Go one better. Go one better. Yeah. Okay. So this means if you did something. You know, good.、Mm-hmm. You could do it again, but、mm-hmm. you could do it better than、oh. good. You could do it excellent. Oh, so, so it means 更上一层楼 like to go. 更上一层楼 Yeah, it means to go like a level higher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just to go a level higher. So、yeah. go one better.、Mm-hmm. So I can say that my English is good, and and I want to go one better next year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah,、okay. you can say that. And、mm-hmm. uh, number two. And、think of two peas in a pod. Oh, two peas in the pod. Yeah. So、uh-huh. this can be used to describe either people who are very similar、uh-huh. or people who really, really get along. Just the 很好朋友 you know, really、ah, close. Ah, really close、yeah. to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Uh-huh. So peas here means 豆子 right? 豆子豆子嗯哼 then pod means 豆荚 so it means that you look like. Uh, 一个豆荚里的两个豆子 so、mm. they're really like similar. Yeah, you're really close. You're like cozy, cozy with each other.、Mm-hmm. You know, basically, just、like、twins. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, number three. Number three. I'm just trying to think. Oh, the third degree、mm-hmm. is one I can think of. This. The third degree. Yeah, this is、mm-hmm. a little bit of a, a strange one because. I've not used it too much, but I've I've often heard it said. I think it means to like. The most、mm-hmm. of something. The most of something. Yeah. So, if maybe you were doing something wrong all the time,、mm. and your, I don't know, your dad maybe was telling you off for it, you know, angry at you,、mm-hmm. you'd say, "Why do you have to give me the third degree all the time?、Oh. So why do you have to be so?" Angry, harsh, so harsh. You know, the, the most angry, the most harsh you could be.、Mm-hmm. 
So it doesn't always have to be angry, but it could be a lot of things. You know, the third degree, the most of something. Mm -hmm. A little bit tricky, that one. I heard that it has something to do with the Freemason. Yeah, I mean, I, I really don't know, to be honest. I, 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 <laughs> this is one of those ones that I don't actually know where it come, came from. And just, um, you know, you hear it. Yeah, I hear it. it yeah. it's, it's called, like, um, uh, in the Freemason, because yeah. there are, like, three degrees. And in order to get into the highest level, yeah. you'll have to go through a lot of, like, check or they are you're going to be asked a lot of questions oh. so you have to try really hard yeah. and like like a kind of like the third degree is kind of like a interrogation wow all mm -hmm. right oh, i learned something there today you teach, <laughs> teach me something yeah according to yeah. <laughs> urban dictionary <laughs> well, well i'll trust them on that because i honestly have no idea where it's, it's from so yeah sounds okay. good to me <laughs> okay right number four what mm -hmm. have we got for number four uh, down on all fours. Uh, down on all fours. Yeah, so mm -hmm. this is a easy one. There's no yeah. hid hidden meaning with this one. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we have two arms, mm -hmm. two legs. Mm -hmm. If we go down onto the floor, mm -hmm. we look like an animal with yeah. four legs. So we're <laughs> yes. on all fours. Yeah, so that's like a dog or a cat. Yeah, exactly. yeah limbs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's at the on mm. all fours. On okay. all fours. So mm -hmm. you could say the grandfather got onto the f got on da uh, the grandfather got on all fours to play with his grandson. You know, he got mm. down onto the floor. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. Okay, number five will go with take five. Take five? Yeah, so take five is something you say when you want somebody to take a break. Ah, oh, take five minutes, yeah. take a break, yeah, 休息一下. Yeah, gain, mm -hmm. I don't, gain the ah, <laughs> take you, like, give you five minutes yeah, to take you, a break. give you five minutes, take five, take, take five. five. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy, that one. Mm -hmm. uh, number six. Mm -hmm. hmm, let me think, that's a difficult one. Okay, here's, here's one <laughs> that does six and seven at once. Mm -hmm. So this is called... Sixes and sevens. Oh, sixes and sevens. Sixes and sevens, yeah. So this means that you're all confused mm -hmm. and all over the place. You know, you're if somebody says she was all sixes and sevens, mm. it means that she it means that she's flustered, she's confused, mm -hmm. she's Her mimang. Yeah, doesn't know what's doesn't going know on. Doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, mm -hmm. basically. So six Sixes and sevens, they have to be in plural form. Yes, it has to be sixes and, and sevens. sevens. Okay, yeah. so how, how can I use this sentence? You could say, I was all sixes and sevens mm -hmm. when I fa I couldn't find my phone. Ah, I was I was very Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So nice, easy one there. Mm -hmm. uh, number eight, mm -hmm. considering we did six and seven, you can say, Behind the eight ball. Ah, oh, behind the eight ball. Mm. Yeah, in when you're playing snooker or pool, mm -hmm. like if you get behind the, Yeah, get behind the eight ball, you're in trouble. So oh. it's usually uh, an awkward situation. Mm -hmm. So you are like in losing position. Yeah. yeah, so you could say I'm really behind the eight ball at work. Mm -hmm. uh, I have so much to do and so little time. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, now the last one, I knew we were going to say we were going to do eight, but we'll add in this extra one. Mm -hmm. So this is on cloud nine. So on cloud nine. nine. Yeah, so mm -hmm. this is like the most brilliant pleasure, awesome experience, mm -hmm. you know, so... Yeah, if, if maybe... <laughs> Uh, just trying to think, you won the lottery, so you won, you know, mi oh. millions and millions of RMB. You, mm -hmm. would, you would be on cloud nine, you would oh. be like in heaven, you know? Oh, so cloud nine is like the highest cloud, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah like the <laughs> highest cloud, you know, above everybody else because you're so happy. Okay, so on cloud nine. Yeah. Cloud nine. Mm -hmm. So an example sentence would be, I was on cloud nine after hearing the good news. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 
。早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语、听说、读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。All right. Well, thank you very much for listening, guys. Was、mm-hmm. Jack? Was Hehuan. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye. 再见再见